everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Myra. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys my grocery haul that I made from Walmart. Just to put it out there, I just want to let you know that it's been about a month that we haven't been grocery shopping, so that's one of the reasons why I have a big, massive haul. But before we get started, I just want to remind you guys to please like this video if you enjoy it, and also share with your friends and family. Please also don't forget to subscribe. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. So let's go ahead and get started because I have a lot of things to share with you guys. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to start with all of the items that go in the freezer just because they've been out here for a while and I want to go ahead and put them away. So let me start with this impossible um, meat substitute. I actually have never used this one before, so I'm very um, excited to try this out. Maybe I'll use it in tacos and then I also have these Gardein Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken. These I give to my kids. They are very sweet and tasty and delicious. <laughs> They're vegan. I have these Morning Star Chicken Nuggets. These I also give to my kids. I purchased four of these bags. You can see they're somewhere over here in the back. And then I also got some frozen veggies, these broccoli florets, and then I also got the California blend, which comes with cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli. And then for meats, I actually ordered another kind of meat, but they didn't have it, so they gave me this, this as a substitution. And this is just a New York strip steak, so my husband can be a little happy with his meat. And then I also got this organic grass-fed ground beef. This one's 85% lean, and then the other one is 93% lean. I get these different ones just because, um, depending on what I'm going to cook, I have a preference of meat to whatever I'm going to cook with. <laughs> and then I have this beef tongue back here which I am going to use to prepare barbacoa and this looks very disgusting but <laughs> it actually tastes delicious so I'll make some tacos with this for my family and then back here in the deli area <laughs> I have these um, natural choice uncured bacon these are the thick cut and I'll probably make these just with, just for breakfast with eggs for the family um, or maybe um, stuffed chicken wrapped around in bacon and then this is the first time that I purchased these from Light Life so these are um, kind of a turkey deli substitute so we'll try this in a wrap or in a sandwich. I'll see how I'm going to prepare that. <clears throat> and then I am also purchased these from Tofurky. Tofurky? <laughs> I don't know how you say that. And I have tried this before. These are very good, delicious. They're very thin. We use these in sandwiches pretty much. And I like that um, you get 100 calories for five slices. So that means you know they're very low in calories and then I also got these Canadian bacon which I like to use these in morning and breakfast biscuits you know with um, these and a little bit of cheese on them just like the ones they serve at McDonald's but you know they're gonna be much tastier and much healthier <laughs> in my opinion and then I also purchased these natural choice um this one is a honey deli ham and this one is the smoked deli ham again i use these for breakfast for my family to serve them with eggs or in sandwiches as well and then we are very heavy milk drinkers in this home <laughs> and so i usually always get three almond milks um, this is not my milk of preference but this is what they have in store and it's very difficult to get the one that I have 
I'm sorry, the one that I picked. Actually, I believe they don't sell it anymore at our local Walmart, which that makes me very sad, but um, my kids enjoy this one. So these three are actually for my kids. Uh, I usually give them cereal with it or smoothies, you know, or just a glass of this milk. I don't like these because it doesn't contain that many almonds. Um, I believe they only put about four almonds per, per, per container and it has a lot of emulsifiers. So I'm still on, a lookout, on the lookout for a better almond milk out there. If you guys know of any, please let me know. <laughs> I know the Moala is the one that's my preference. I really enjoyed that one. It's organic and the ingredients are very good. But like I said, they don't have it in my local Walmart or at any other store near us. Which, that's very sad, but oh well. And then I got this Silk Almond Creamer. This is the Sweet and Creamy. Not my best... Um, option not my best choice not my best preference i prefer the vanilla one but this is what they had um on the grocery app and then i just have whole organic milk that's the one that my husband uses and drinks and then here i have the chow slices these are vegan and they are super delicious they taste like cheese they melt like cheese they are quite on the pricey side but um i try to always get one of these every time we do the grocery shopping so yeah i, I use these in almost anything they're very delicious and then i also purchased this earth balance um spread i really enjoy this one as well and then i also purchased this orange juice which they gave me as a substitute i actually prefer the one on the the tropicana one it has vitamin d but i guess they didn't have any so they gave me this as a substitute which that's fine and then i also got these um cream cheese the two pack i plan on using these with a choco flan <laughs> that's a very delicious dessert um, and then the other one i plan on using on um, bagels for my kids they have them for breakfast and they're very satisfying to them so i'll be using that for for bagels as well and then i purchased this for myself since my family doesn't really like tofu but i do <laughs> and this is the organic tofu um this is not the sprouted one i prefer the sprouted tofu but again they didn't have it in store or in stock and i plan on making sofritas with this which is like the um the chipotle sofritas a copycat <laughs> but it's very delicious and then just a big bag of mozzarella cheese for pretty much anything quesadillas and enchiladas and other stuff <laughs> and then i also got <clears throat> this um a coconut a cool whip kind of it says it's coconut non-dairy whipped topping so i had purchased this before but it's been a while since i've had it in my fridge so i'm planning on using it with lattes and desserts and all of the above <laughs> and then I also purchased this silk, this silk yogurts. I have never tried these before. This is the strawberry, and this one is the dark chocolate coconut. I am very excited to try these out. Hopefully, my kids like them as well. And then I purchased the strawberry um, organic spread for you know peanut butter sandwiches for my kids. They enjoy that and this I purchased for myself I am all about um probiotics putting probiotics in my body and this sauerkraut um, I know has a lot of probiotics I like that it's organic and the ingredients are here are fantastic they are you could tell that where are the ingredients <laughs> here they are it's only organic cabbage 
It has, it's not focusing. Come on. Okay, anyways, it has organic cabbage, water, salt, and lactic acid. So this is very good for you to take, you know, those natural probiotics. And then I also like to purchase these, the Rayo's um, pasta sauce. They are pricey, but I really like them. I also like the ingredients on these, so I highly recommend them. And then, you know, for snacks, because everybody needs a snack once in a while. <laughs> um, I purchased these Lara bars. This one is the cashew cookie. And the one back there is the in the flavor carrot cake. I have never tried these two flavors. I've tried other ones, but not these two. So I'm very excited for my kids to try them as well. And this is one of my favorite snacks ever. <laughs> I mentioned these in my January favorites video. This is a Mighty Sesame Company tahini bar in the pistachio flavor. These are very delicious. So I have these every once in a while, not on a daily basis, but I highly recommend these. You know, of course, if you like pistachios, these are very good. And then I also got these for my kids, you know, a little chocolate here and there. Okay, so these right here, these two snacks, um, they're the first time that I'm going to try them. These are the Vienna chickpea snacks. They have sea salt. These look interesting to me because the ingredients look pretty okay. It has chickpeas and it has expeller pressed high oleic sunflower oil and also sea salt. So again, you know, very minimal ingredients. So I'm excited to try these. And also I I got these Urban Foods Superfood Bites. These have cranberry, orange, quinoa, chia, flax, seeds, and oats. Again, these also looked interesting to me when I saw them online. The ingredients are oats, um, sunflower seeds, honey, cranberries, coconut oil, pumpkin seeds, quinoa, chia, flax, pure orange oil, rosemary extract. So yeah, these look pretty healthy as well. Hopefully they are delicious. <laughs> and let me show you what else I have over here. I also purchased these Morning Star cheeseburger patties. Um, my kids and myself we enjoy these so I'm going to be making some burgers with these and then I purchased these for my kids you know a little treat and these are the bluebell in um, these are the bluebell ice cream cups in the flavor sundae um, it has vanilla and chocolate with it so I've never purchased these for them so we'll see if they like them and I purchased this one for myself to treat myself <laughs> this is the so delicious dairy free chocolate cookies and cream and it has cashew milk it's on dairy of course so I have tried this one before and I really enjoy it I want to apologize because my lighting is not very well <laughs> um, I actually don't have a ring night so I need to invest in one really soon so you know this is what we're gonna have to work with here <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you guys all of my veggies let's start with broccoli I love broccoli it's one of my favorite veggies I'll probably be using this in a stir fry and then I got some shallots I really enjoyed these I, I really like the the flavor on these and below here I have some spinach for smoothies and, and salads. Oh my god, my lighting is so bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's already 7 p.m. here, so yeah, it's pretty late. So obviously there is no sun to help me with the lighting. Here I have some kale, some organic kale. And this one I like using it also in smoothies and salads. And I like making an asparagus and kale soup. And Below it, I have a spring mix, also for salads, obviously. <laughs> and then next to it, I have some cilantro, which I need to wash. Um, put it in a cup with water and then cover it again with a bag. 
and then I usually change the water every three days that helps it you know keep um that helps it keep it fresh for at least 14 days I, I would say and also my parsley I do the same thing so I need to wash those right now these are the ones that I haven't washed yet everything has been sanitized and disinfected and cleaned so that's gonna be ready to be put away in the fridge and then I have these tomatoes here we love tomatoes here at home I also purchased green beans you know to put as a side dish and then here I have some cucumbers which I will be using for a shrimp cocktail and also my kids like to eat these uh, just like as a snack with some lime juice some salt and that's very appetizing for them I have some asparagus which um, it's one of my favorites <laughs> and then I also have habanero peppers yes I love spicy food so <laughs> I like to keep these in hand I also freeze these um, you know just because I obviously I'm the only one at home that's, that likes to eat spicy food and so before these go bad I like to freeze at least half of them and they do keep fresh in the freezer and then I also have a little bit of jalapenos just because right now they're not spicy it's, it's not you know they're not in season yet so they're not spicy so I just got a few of those and then I got some red onions because I use that in my sofritas and then I also use these in my ratatouille dish which I don't put eggplant in it I just use zucchini and then I got some white onions um, what else do we have back here some sweet potatoes I'm trying to incorporate um, more sweet potatoes in my diet just because I know it has many great um, health benefits you know, especially for us women out there <laughs> um, so I'm trying to at least eat one of these every day and then some cherry tomatoes for salads and my one of my daughters really loves to eat cherry tomatoes as a snack so I got these for her too you know just some russet potatoes I got some beets back there which I use that in smoothies with pineapple I just blend it with a pineapple and it's super delicious and nutritious beets help you a lot with your blood and I really enjoy them and then here I have some avocados I got plenty of those I got about eight I think and then here I have some limes <laughs> which I have more limes over here I always purchase a lot of limes because in the mornings I like to drink my lime water on an empty stomach you know I just check it down <laughs> that really helps a lot in your body it has a lot of health benefits so this is why I have a lot of limes here you know and also because um, I use them with my kids snacks with cucumber and jicama as well and then here I have some lemons you know for many recipes and then here we have some fruits some red raspberries below it I have some guavas which they are high in vitamin C and then we have more vitamin C here with kiwis I have some bananas some oranges I got two pints of blueberries um, we like these in smoothies or just by themselves um, with oatmeal um, what else do we have this with with yogurt so that's why I get two of these and then here we have some seedless grapes I have a lot of red bell peppers <laughs> I have one two and there's a third bag back there we eat a lot of bell peppers and then we have some zucchini like I said I'm, I'm gonna use these for for a ratatouille dish and then just some iceberg lettuce um, I also have green onions for stir fries and for mostly all of my dishes <laughs> I like 
using green onions for many dishes and then I have some baby arugula which they usually never have at Walmart and so I was very excited that they had it in stock and then here I have five bags of radish <laughs> I also have these um, I also give these to my kids as snacks for myself you know just because they also have a lot of vitamins so I have five bags of these and then I have a oh my god what is this called <laughs> a cantaloupe and then back here I have two pineapples which I use in my morning green smoothies I have some apples here which they don't look um very pleasing they look a little a little rough but we'll make them work um and then let me see i have a red cabbage here i like making this with um with chorizo with soy chorizo and then i have some jicama here i purchased three just because this is one of my kids favorite snacks so they go through it fairly quickly and then let me go here which we have a bunch of tortillas these are just regular corn tortillas and then i have some flour tortillas for burritos for quesadillas and these are called be free quinoa and chia seed wraps i have purchased these before but the ones that have sweet potato they're all right i guess but um i wanted to try these to see if i like them a little better so i'm planning on making these in wraps for myself and my kids and then i also i haven't tried these yet these are the tea stale simply especial <laughs> um these are the chickpea and cilantro tortillas they are only eight here these are pretty pricey along with the beef free so we'll see how we like them you know something different and these are one of my favorite items <laughs> um i try not to eat um well actually i i try to replace you know, regular tortillas, flour tortillas with these, but these are tremendously expensive. They're about $8 per pack. <laughs> these are the almond ones and these are the cassava flour from the brand Siete. And I highly recommend these, but again, they are very pricey. I like to treat the almond ones as flour tortillas and then the cassava ones as corn tortillas. And they are very delicious. So um, I'm very excited to use these again. And then here we have bagels for my kids. They really enjoy their bagels in the morning. I try to alternate these, you know, every, every once in a while I give them bagels about once a month I purchase a bag of these. And then here I have some was wasa multi-grain um, crackers. I like to use these with um, a cowboy caviar. I don't know if you've ever had that before. It's just like a like an appetizer, but I really enjoy these. They're very healthy. And then these, <laughs> I was supposed to get the Light Life, um, what's it called? Like the Franks, a kind of style, but they were out of stock at Walmart, so, you know, now I have hot dog buns, <laughs> which I don't know what I'm going to use them with since I don't have the, the, the francs to use them with. And just regular honey wheat bread for my kids, you know, to use them with um, peanut butter and many other things. <laughs> and then I just have this organic peanut butter. This one is for myself. My family doesn't like this. They, they think it's too too thick. And but for them, I actually have the Jif, the creamy peanut butter. Okay, I can't reach back there, so let me go around because I can't reach. 
Okay, that's better. Okay, and then here I have some raw, raw cashews, which I like to purchase these to make um, vegan cheese. I use this for myself. And then I have some organic cacao powder, which I use this in many, many, many different things, in smoothies, in desserts, in my um, oatmeal bowls. I really like this one. It's very good. And then I just purchased the Truvia brown sugar. It has an aftertaste, but um, it's better than the regular brown sugar. Um, it's all right, I guess, but yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna purchase this one instead of the regular brown sugar out there, just cause um, it is a little bit healthier than the other one, or than the other ones. And then I have this organic maca powder. This has a lot of great benefits to your body. So I also use this in my smoothies or in my oatmeal. I pour it in there, I mix it, and it has no flavor in my opinion. <clears throat> and again, it's very healthy. And then here I have four dozens of eggs. These are the Happy Egg Company. They're organic, free range. And I have a lot of them just because my husband and my kids go through eggs fairly quickly. <laughs> I don't eat eggs myself, but they do. And we go through these like, you know, very, very fast. <laughs> and then I have this black eyed peas, which I use these in my cowboy caviar recipe. They're very good. And then here I have. Um, some shelf stable almond milk I like to have these in hand just because if there's an emergency or you know we could use these I actually have not tried this brand before so I'm excited to try it and this one too I'm excited to try this one it's a flaxseed milk so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that one I'm glad I found that at Walmart and this one too. I'm very excited for this one. This is a macadamia milk and it's also unsweetened. I want to see which one of those I like the best. And then we also have just some raw honey. And then this is my favorite maple syrup ever. It's so delicious, so pricey, but I recommend this one as well. Um, yeah, highly recommend that one. And then I have some chamomile tea, our favorite at home. And back here we just have some regular mac and cheese for the kids. Um, it's not healthy, but as you can see, we eat a lot of fruits and veggies, so I don't mind this once in a while. And this one I have not tried. It's organic maple sugar. Um, I have I didn't know they made sugar from maple, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try this one. I don't know how it's gonna work for recipes, but we'll see how that works. And then here I have three boxes of maple and brown sugar oatmeal, you know, instant oatmeal. I like to give these to my kids in the morning for breakfast before they start school. Just a quick and easy breakfast. And then these um, are hemp seeds. These are one of my favorite. I place them in almost all of my meals. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like these a lot. I really like these. They have no flavor and they have a whole bunch of nutrients. So I highly recommend you use these if you want to. <laughs> and then back here, I have this um, Vital Performance Recover drink. I'm sorry recover supplement this is not what i wanted but um i didn't know they had um what's it called the collagen peptides from bovine um i don't like to eat animal products myself but i guess i'm gonna have to give this to my husband see if he wants it <laughs> here i have the garden of life organic protein this is my favorite one yet i use it of course in my shakes um i always purchase the vanilla flavor this time i got the chocolate the chocolate flavor so 
we'll see if I like it but yeah this is my favorite vegan um, protein powder I really enjoy this one it's pricey but it's worth it and then I just have some organic steel cut oats for myself my kids don't like it because obviously <laughs> you know it's in its natural state and they like more of the processed one <laughs> from a Quaker so this is just a quick oats I just make this with water let it soak for a few minutes add some honey or or maple syrup some fruit and that makes their tummies happy and then back here I have some wild rice I really like this which you know if you didn't know this isn't actually rice this is actually grass <laughs> And, oh my god, I've been obsessed with matcha powder lately, so I purchased another bag since um, I already ran out of my first one. And I mentioned this in my what I ate in a day video, and I said to make sure to grab the culinary grade, but um, I didn't mean the culinary grade, I meant the ceremonial grade which i know this is not it um i'm still trying to purchase one but they are very pricey and right now i don't want to invest so much in a matcha powder so this works well for me right now yeah i like these for my lattes that's healthy as well and then here this is the first time that i purchased this it's um organic pure moringa powder um i have been going through hair loss for a while now and i read that this is pretty good for that so i'm trying to see if it's going to work if not well you know it's still um a nutrient um item product <laughs> i have to mix this with other other products so so we'll see how that tastes and how that works <laughs> And then I also have these craisins. These my kids love. I put them in their oatmeals or just as a snack. And we go through these fairly quickly. I thought I got two of these, but I guess they only gave me one. I'm gonna have to check my my receipt to see if they charge me for two or for one. But I'm I'm pretty sure I, I got two of these, but I only have one with me. <laughs> okay, so where am I floor because I don't have a big kitchen <laughs> um, so this is the the suja um, um, probiotic drinks um, this one's my favorite though well, this one has ginger and I don't know what else it has I forgot but <laughs> this one's my favorite the the elderberry I really like these I take this also in the morning on an empty stomach Oops. and I also have these Health Aid Kombucha. This one's in the flavor pomegranate and this one's in the pink lady apple. But this one's my favorite, the pomegranate. I um, I separate these into three portions. So they're gonna last me, you know, one of these lasts me for three days. And then back here I just have some grape juice for the kids. And then I like to take these um, a coconut water drinks from Walmart organic I enjoy them because um, the ingredients are very good uh, just a second okay I wasn't be able to read back there so these as you can see they only have organic coconut water so I highly recommend these um, they have four in them four cans and I you know they're very good I like to also add matcha in here sometimes and it tastes well in my opinion <laughs> they're very refreshing you know so now that spring days are are, are near us um, yeah I, I recommend these for that refreshing um, moment in your life <laughs> and then I just have some boring stuff here some peach water which I have two of these I like to take a cup of these a day just because this water is pretty pricey and I read that you know even if you take a glass a day it, it's very helpful for your health and just some distilled water I have three of those for my plants 
and then back here just you know everyday things <laughs> okay we're back on my countertop um, I have these for stir fry noodles I have two of the of the udon and then two of these other ones which I cannot pronounce and then here I have some um, avocado oil mayo for my husband I like this one because the ingredients are very good it's pricey as well but I prefer that one than the other ones that have more bad ingredients and then this one is from myself and my kids um, it's the best foods vegan mayo spread so I haven't tried this one I usually purchase the the Hellman's vegan mayo and before that one I used to purchase the uh, just mayo but I don't know what happened with that company I guess they closed I don't know but I'm gonna try this one and then just organic ketchup for my kids because they eat a lot of that a lot of that and then I have two cans of the coconut cream and back here two cans of the coconut milk I use these for desserts um, for many things actually you know for a lot of dishes so yeah this is this is very good and then up here I have a bunch of hot tomato sauce I usually get the one from that says California but they didn't have any so these will be fine and then just a um, organic tomato paste for my sofritas and my ratatouille my ratatouille dish and then here um my obsession which is you know spicy food valentina i have two of these i like the one with the black label but they didn't have any on the app so that will work right now for us and just regular um pickled jalapenos and then here i have these um extra virgin olive oil from California Olive Ranch. Um, this one's my, what's it called? This is my preference of olive oil. Um, I've read a lot about what kind of olive oils are the best and um, I'm just gonna tell you that it has to say 100% California. <laughs> okay, I won't go into detail in this video. And then this is, this has been um, a purchase for a while now. I've been buying this for about, I don't know, four or five years. These are just organic coconut aminos. They are a soy sauce replacement. And I highly recommend this one. The taste is even much better than the regular soy sauce. The salt content is also much less than regular soy sauce. And this is more healthier than regular soy sauce. So... If you can get your hands on this, you know, I recommend it. Give it a try and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. And then also my preference of avocado oil is from Chosen Foods. Again, this is 100% avocado oil. Um, this is my preference because it has no other added oils. You know, sometimes they add canola oil or vegetable oil, but this one is... 100% avocado oil and then we are getting close to the end this is the last items um, which I have this right here now that I'm in YouTube <laughs> I record on my phone so my memory has been going um, full fairly quickly so um, I don't know if my phone's gonna is going to actually get the 128 gigabytes so we'll see if it works for that but I got that and then some feminine products boring stuff <laughs> and then i have this um toothpaste for gums from the brand perodontax i don't know if that's how you say it and then i got this for myself a mineral sunscreen i don't use chemical sunscreens and the one that i'm currently using is the alta md which it's a little bit pricey and i'm running low on it so I decided to pick this up because Angie from Hot and Flashy here in YouTube, she recommends this one. So 
I decided to pick this up. I don't like that it has an SPF of 30. You know, I wish it was a little bit higher. But, you know, I'm usually at home all day long, especially right now with, you know, the worldwide situation that we all know about. And so I guess that's fine. You know, I'm going to try it out and see if I like that. And then I got some calligraphy pens because um, I have been doing this as a hobby. So I'm trying to see if I can get a little better at that. <laughs> I'm excited to try these out. And then, you know, just some loofahs for my kids and myself. I do replace these very often. If you have, you know, a suggestion on how or on what I can use instead of loofahs, because I know these are not very well for our environment. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. I would like to see if I can try something else for my kids, my three kids and myself. That way we won't, you know, be using these a lot and just tossing them regularly so yeah let me know if you know any other better options uh, that's just my water <laughs> and then here I have um, a toothbrush holder for my kids I do have three kids so you know each of them can place their toothbrush here and then I have these for my girls I thought these were very cute I don't know if they're still in style but you know maybe we're a little late to the game but <laughs> I don't care about you know fashion and if I'm in fashion or out of fashion. I just wear what I want, when I want, <laughs> and my kids as well. So I thought these were very cute for them. And this other one in green. These look so cute for my girls. And then I have this liner. This, it's an ad adhesive liner. Uh, I'm gonna be using this in a future video. So if you're interested in knowing what I'm going to to do with this um, stay tuned and definitely subscribe that way you won't miss that video um, it's gonna be very fun in my opinion <laughs> and then I purchased these three I have three I, I got three of these one two three I tried this one for myself um, about a month ago and I really liked it so I got one for my kids now these are the colors that they gave me I didn't pick them <laughs> Um, mine is in pink, so you know that's gonna work. Each of them is gonna get their own color, that way they won't get them confused. But this is the Aura Brush Tongue Brush <laughs> Tongue Cleaner. Uh, it's right there, the Tongue Cleaner. Um, yeah, they're they're very gentle and it cleans your tongue well. It helps fight bad breath. You know, it's not um, um, how do you call it? It's not irritating on your tongue, so. That's going to be for my kids. And then I just got some kitchen towels from Pioneer Women. I thought the colors were very pretty. These are more winter colors, but you know, I could still use them for spring because it has a the flower pattern on them. And then this one's just red, a blue one, and another flower pattern. So yeah, I'm going to probably use this one and and this one for spring and then I'll save these for for another time and then back here I just have a deodorant for myself yes I use um, men deodorant because I need it <laughs> women deodorant don't work on me um, I sweat too much I know TMI but I do and so I need a strong antiperspirant and, an, and a deodorant and I had not tried this one. I've tried the Wilderness one and I forgot the other one that I've tried. And I, I smelled it, you know, when I got it right now and it smells really good. Uh, oops, having a little trouble here with one hand. <laughs> and then I purchased this Thera Breath. Um, I've tried the other ones as well. One for the gums and the green one. They are very good in my opinion they do work they give you very good breath and so i decided to purchase this one for my daughter well this one too because i don't know which one she's gonna like she's my oldest one and this one has alcohol free it it has enamel it has enamel care <laughs> so i purchased these for her because i don't know which one she's gonna like and we'll see how that works for her I just got coffee scoops 
I got two of them. Again, you know, this is going to be for the radio I'm going to be doing with the, with the liners. And just some batteries. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and also don't forget to subscribe. And please follow me on my social media. That way you can see what um, I post there on a daily basis. I'll see you on my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.